Hello everyone, I'm Ken Yeager. With me today are two distinguished guests. And I say that because of the nature of the type of work they are doing for the community. First, we have Captain John Roberts, who is a retired police officer from Chicago, who is also the co-founder of HERO. Out with him is Pastor Perry Walker, who was instrumental in uh, getting the HERO inaugural event off the ground. Gentlemen, thank you for joining me today and welcome. John, you had your first event for HERO. You had your inaugural event. How well did it go, sir? Very well. Compared to other events that I've worked over the last year or two with the state agency and Southwest Coalition, uh, we had a huge turnout. We had four or 500 people show up. We did do a head count, 275 people actually did the three mile walk. And we walked through the community of Homer Glen to spread the word about this epidemic. And, uh, but we were delighted and then we had a number of speakers come out who demonstrated a, uh, they were completely aware of the, the problem and several of them referred to it as an epidemic. So the word is getting out and that's our purpose is to warn parents and the community. Pastor, you mentioned about your son. How did he get started on this? Any idea? In, uh, in his uh, sophomore year of, of school, that's, uh, that's when he first became involved. And, um, and you'll notice uh, many times we who have, have uh, been down that path with our children, um, a change in their personality, the distance, and just uh, that's when he first became involved. And, and then uh, as, as I saw his personality and things change with him, um, I then went, uh, you know, to the local schools because I feel like that uh, that we can make a great team working together with uh, with our schools in our community, whether it be public, private, uh, wherever it is, is just empower us, communicate with us, and uh, and we certainly, as parents, uh, we want to make a difference. We want not just to make a difference on our own, but join together and uh, and make a difference in our community. John, what makes this an epidemic? Well, I'll invite you, Ken, to look in any di dictionary for the definition, but typically what you'll find two traits are rapid, rapidly spreading, and then the number, and therefore it follows, the number of people that are involved. Uh, I didn't know when I first uh, discovered that my son was using this drug that how serious the problem was, but I, but I started doing my own research and based on my law enforcement career, but and I've got a doctorate in education. I know how to do research, and what I found was frightening. It's not just here. Pastor, what are the demographics? Specifically, are the kids that are using this coming from poor families, broken homes, or can it be anybody? At, at one time, I think um, over the years, we, it was pretty much, it seemed that it was from one certain area of, of you know, and many times we would consider, well, you know, you could spot someone who, um, who was a heroin addict. Today, not at all. It is in every area. Um, I, right now, am, am working with um, 12 different families. They're from every range, from, from some on um, state assistance, some have all the money that they need. John, your thoughts on that? I, I agree completely. The, the pastor uh, you know, knows exactly what's going on. A lot like his son, my son, started within weeks of going to a uh, high school, was introduced to drugs. Now, my, I just taught a class on uh, drugs distribution and impact at the graduate level. And statistically, the data is there to support everything that we've said, the pastor and I have said. But uh, I mentioned that by senior year, nearly half of all children going through high school will try some type of illegal drug. John, your answer is a perfect um, segue to my next question. Will County Executive Larry Walsh had said during the, your community forum that he wants to start a, quote, model prevention program. If he were to ask you what your recommendations are to make it a model program, what would you tell him, sir? Well. I've already alluded to it, but uh, prevention programs, uh, certainly in our schools, is one. But I mean, the community business organizations, there's ways to pull together 
all the people who are impacted by this problem